general assumption about you, about me, and about everyone in this room is that we all have goals, or at least we all should have goals, <laughs> whether they're short-term goals, long-term, career, or personal, we all have them, and they have one purpose. That's to make us happy in our lives. And though accomplishing these goals will inevitably make you happy, people often overlook the simple things, the basic elements that provide joy in our lives. Things like giving and gratitude. Let's start with giving. When I was younger, my father would always insist on donating to these various organizations and doing community service. And I never understood why until I tried it myself. For my 13th birthday, instead of asking for gifts, I asked for donations, and I donated that money to the Awesome Society in North Carolina. Knowing that I made a positive impact on my life, on other people's lives, and helping to those in need made me feel really good. And that just goes to show that you can always give, no matter how little or much you have, how old or young you are. That brings me to my next point, gratitude. How many of us actually take the time to appreciate everything that goes on around us? We take so many things for granted these days, things like running water, electricity, even basic things like our friends, that we often overlook how lucky we are to live in the society that we do. So what happens in your brain when you give or show gratitude? Well, Researchers have actually found a connection between giving and showing gratitude and more sleep and lower anxiety and stress levels. Chemicals like oxytocin, serotonin, dopamine, and endorphins are released from your brain when you give or show gratitude. And according to Psychology Today, the benefits don't even stop there. For example, serotonin is associated with better sleep, digestion, memory, and apprehension. And not only does oxytocin, when released, build trust in empathetic relationships, but levels of cortisol, or the stress hormone, were known to drop. I didn't mean to lecture you guys on biology or chemistry or anything, but that just shows the direct connection between your health and giving and gratitude. See, there are so many things in this world worth being appreciated that we must take every moment that's given to us as a gift. Simply that. Nothing more and nothing less. Let's go back to what Helen Keller said. She said, so many things have been given to me, I have no time to ponder over that which has been denied. For those of you don't, who don't know, Helen Keller, who was blind and deaf, found the beauty in our world. So what's stopping us from embracing it too? Thank you. <laughs>